Christmas is a time for exchanging gifts and family reunions. It is also a time for decorating homes. During this time of the year, an abundance of Christmas lights are used to beautify homes and Christmas trees. It is also a time for many homeowners to compete for the most decorated house of the season. While this is a wonderful idea, it means the use of more Christmas lights. Lloyd Ayers is Philadelphia's fire commissioner. He says his department is aware of the overuse of Christmas lights and the high risk of fire during this time of the year. Some of the things that we try to highlight uh, during this season is, one, uh, the decorations. Uh, it's the Christmas season, it's the Kwanzaa season, uh, it's the Hanukkah season, and people put up different decorations to celebrate uh, those different um, uh, festivities. And we let them know that when they use electrical appliances, uh, which many of those uh, families will be using, uh, that they need to use appliances that are UL approved and that they can check those appliances when they uh, look for that little seal on the, usually on the cord or on the appliance itself. They should check it and make sure that it has been tested by underwriters laboratories. Uh, the next thing we ask them to do is to look at the manufacturer's instructions. The manufacturer has specific instructions as to how this appliance is to be used. And one of the things we want them to do is to follow all of those instructions and use good common sense. Commissioner Ayers says some fires during the holiday season are caused by using all the decorations. If they're using appliances from previous years, some things have been handed down uh, through the families, like ornaments and sometimes maybe those special light bulbs. And we want them to check them, make sure that they're not frayed, that they're uh, not worn and unserviceable. When you utilize um, these types of appliances, you have the risk that you can create a bad situation, electrical hazard, and maybe a fire. Christmas trees are also part of the holiday decorations. Many people use real trees while others prefer artificial ones. Ayers says there's a difference between the two when it comes to fire prevention. When you use the, uh, the, the natural tree versus the artificial tree, you have to be more careful. It can easily dry out. Once that tree dries out, it's really just a tinder box sitting in your house. Uh, if it's not taken care of, uh, the wrong, uh, uh, the right spark at the right place could give you a, a real nightmare in your home. Now, the artificial tree, I think you have to be careful of the metal. Uh, you, you want to be careful. Most of the trees are vinyl and metal, and the metal... Uh, conducts electricity. Ayers says even though most Christmas bulbs are smaller than the regular light bulbs, they can be very dangerous. He cautioned Philadelphians to make safety a part of their menu to keep their family safe. The message is Happy Hanukkah, it's Merry Christmas, it's Happy Kwanzaa, but however you celebrate, enjoy the season and Stay safe. Use all of those tips to keep your family safe. While many see the need to decorate their homes for the holidays, it is also important to be mindful of the quantity of decorations used, especially Christmas lights. Please include fire safety as part of your holiday celebrations as you enjoy the season with your families, friends, and loved ones. For YEP News, I'm Patrick Amaji wishing you and yours a wonderful Christmas and happy holidays to everyone.